I'm Gemma, intuitive life coach and yoga teacher. We are going to have a little chat today about how we can approach the new year. So I have been talking a bit and I've recently written a blog about how the whole new year, new you idea is actually somewhat toxic and not really that helpful. Now, I say that having been a very much a proponent of the new year, new you previously, um, and have actually run marketing campaigns with exactly that title. So no judgment. Um, I have now realized that, and you know, as you learn and grow, etc., cetera, realize that encouraging people to be a new version of themselves is actually really unhelpful. And it suggests that there's something wrong with you and that you somehow need to um, change yourself and be a be be better in order to be accepted, in order to be successful. Now, that is the completely the wrong way around from the way that I like to approach personal development and coaching, because I think we are all perfectly enough, just as we are, just because we are alive. It is our birthright. Now, I know sometimes that's a difficult one to kind of really believe and subscribe to, but I really do um, believe that we are all enough as we are. We are all loved and lovable as we are. And there's nothing that we need to do or add or take away or fix within us in order to make ourselves more deserving or more lovable or whatever that may be. So that doesn't take away from the fact that I also believe this life that we are in, and I don't know if you believe this too, is kind of like, so coming into this human life is kind of like a school or maybe even university, depending on <laughs> what your life is like, in terms of soul growth, in terms of learning and growing, um, that we come here to learn and there's always work to do, whether that's you know, removing layers of conditioning or understanding how we grew up has affected some of our beliefs into our adulthood and how they're helping us or hindering us at the time. So big fan of personal development coming to you as a coach, not a big fan of saying that there's something wrong with you and you need to fix it in order to be better. So that's what we're talking about here. Okay, now that we've got that little rant out of the way, I would like to offer you a couple of really simple practices to get you going into the new year um, in a way to encourage you, support you um, as we move into this year and not try to suggest that you need to be any different from the way you are now and that you are completely beautiful and enough sitting right there in this moment. Can you believe that? Try, try. Okay, so the first practice is I would like you to think back to last year and pick three things that you're really proud of about yourself. So three things that you did that you feel proud of. Now, you might want to pause the video and write them down um, or write them down afterwards. I really would like you to write them down um, because that just solidifies it so much more than if you just kind of think about it. So three things that you are proud of that might be relationship wise. It might be, um, you know, how you built a relationship with a loved one. It might be achievements in your career. It might be financially. Um, it might be just as simple as um, in 2020 during the pandemic that we made it to the end of the year almost in one piece. That is something to certainly be proud of. So if you go away and do this little practice, I would like to suggest that if you keep writing till you get to 50 or 100 things that you're proud of, I know that sounds like a lot, um, and it can be little and big, that that is a really, really positive, um, helpful exercise in order to boost your good vibes about yourself. And you will be able to find lots of things that you feel proud of that you haven't celebrated yet. So let's celebrate you as a starting point. Okay, practice two is picking one to three areas of your life or experiences that you would really like to have in this new year. 
So it might be, again, in the area of relationships. It might be experiencing a deeper connection with your significant other. It might be in your career. It might be reaching a certain goal. It might be reaching a certain financial goal. Or it might be something to do with your relationship with yourself and how you feel in your body, let's say. So something a little bit more health related. So I'd like you to pick one, two or three experiences that you would love to have in the coming year. Again, please write them down and either pause the video or make a note and go back once you're finished. So once you've got clear on what those elements are that you would like to experience in the new year, now step three, I would really like you to pick one of them. So let's say we're going to pick the feeling really good about yourself and feeling really good in your body. Say that's one of your chosen experiences to have for the year ahead. We've got that as our big goal, our big picture. Now from where you are right now, I'd like you to think of just one action that you can take today or in the next few days that will move you towards that goal. So for example, if we're talking about feeling good in your body, that one might that one small action might be doing 20 minutes walking today or tomorrow, 20 minutes yoga. It might be um, not drinking alcohol for the next two or three days. Um, it might be having hot water and lemon in the morning rather than your usual multiple cups of coffee or whatever it might be. So finding one small action that was going to get you closer to that big picture desire that you have for the year ahead and schedule it in, plan it in. So that's one, two, three. One, celebrate yourself. List as many things you can about last year that you feel proud of yourself for. Number two, pick one to three experiences that you would love to have in the year ahead. Practice three is pick one of those experiences you'd love to have and add to that an action that you can take in the next few days that will move you closer towards it. So can you see that we've moved from celebrating yourself to getting clear about what you really want to putting that into action? Now, all you need to do as you keep going through the year is keep adding those small actions onto the bigger picture of what you really want. Now, I know it kind of seems really simple, almost too simple. But these small steps are the foundations of what you will build your dreams on. All greatness was created one small step at a time. And if we can get really, really good and consistent at taking those small steps day by day and week by week that move us gradually towards our goals and dreams, that's how we build them into reality. And then we look back six months or a year later, and what we really wanted, which seemed perhaps very unattainable to start with, is now really coming into fruition. So I would love for you to do this little practice. It doesn't need to take long. I would love even more for you to let me know how you got on in the comments below, pop me an email, whatever it is, and let me know how you got on, what your big dreams are, what you're proud of, and I am wishing you the happiest, healthiest year ahead. And I will be here to cheer you on all the way. Sending love.